Shall we have a clear conversation about how and where to get a business auto loan, whether it is for a delivery business, whether it is for any kind of business, but let's just talk about that. You know, what do you get a business auto loan? And the thing here is that let's first clarify things because a lot of folks have no idea what we talk about when we mention the term business auto loan. People ask, people always ask us, what do you really mean? Well, here it is. What is a business auto loan? So a business auto loan is a loan that can be used to finance the purchase of a vehicle for business purposes. So this could be like a, a cargo van, a sprinter van, a box truck, an 18, you know, 18 wheeler. We can have a semi, whatever it is, as long as you are actually a, getting the loan to finance the purchase of a vehicle for business purposes, it will qualify as a business auto loan. So just like a personal auto loan, the vehicle bought is used as security. In other words, you are collateralizing the loan. Okay. So if you go and let's say you want to buy uh, a Sprinter van for your Sprinter van business loan, what will happen here is that the vehicle will constitute the collateral. And a lot of folks, please make sure that you get that because when we talk about a collateralized loan, that means that the requirements for the loan are not as uh, stringent as a regular loan. In other words, even if you have bad credit, in some cases, the lender will actually uh, will accept your application because they know that uh, the vehicle constitutes the collateral of the loan. This is really important. Okay, so when you when you think about the next time you want to actually get a loan for your Sprinter van business or your uh, your cargo van business. Just, just be comfortable with that no matter your credit score, no matter what you have, you can still qualify. Okay. By the way, boss, welcome back to the show. I really appreciate having you here and have this kind of quick convo with you about how and where to get a business auto loan for, for, for your business. Okay. And one thing I want to say here is that some lenders may require that the vehicle be used exclusively for business purposes, and many require that uh, the borrower have a minimum credit score, and this can be 350, 400, okay? And when we talk about minimum credit score, this could be a business credit score, personal credit score, or both. And the loan may also be personally guaranteed by the borrower in some cases, which means what? That the borrower's personal assets may be at risk if the loan is not repaid. But most of the time, we don't actually go all the way to, to a, a personal guarantee level. We don't have, we don't go to a PG level because once again, the vehicle itself, the Sprinter van, that you get the cargo van the box truck that you have will constitute the security underlying the loan now let me break it down for you what are the steps here are the steps i really want you to follow if you want to uh, get a business auto loan for your delivery business or for any other any other type of business uh, for that matter, okay? And th th this is the very first thing you want to do. You got to really set a budget. Boss, if you're listening to me right now, you're just wondering, you know, I want a, I want a business auto loan, okay? And the thing is, do you, do you have a budget? You got to have a budget. I don't care. I don't care if you if you need 25 grand or you need uh, uh, 10 grand or you need $100,000. You got to have a budget because if you have no idea, if you have no idea how much you need, if you have no idea how much you gonna, you're going to need to repay the loan. If you have no idea how long it will take you, boss, you are off on the wrong on the wrong path. And I, I, I don't want to hear that. I don't want you to go on the wrong path. I want you to go on the right on the right path here, okay? This is, this is what we're trying to do here. So whether you are buying a new or used vehicle for your delivery business, you will always need to determine the maximum amount you can afford to spend on a monthly basis. Also, you need to determine how much you are willing to spend overall. See, the thing here is that you don't have a Jeff Bezos wallet. You don't have a Bill Gates wallet. You know, you and I have a, maybe a, a tiny ass wallet. So we, we need to control whatever pennies, whatever penny comes out of that wallet. So we gotta re, we've got to be in a situation where we budget. So boss, you got to budget. This is so important. By the way, I want to quickly remind you to this topic. I'm having a conversation with you about how and where to get a business auto loan for your delivery business. And so the first thing is you want to set a budget. The second thing is you need to review your credit. And now I, I know that I said earlier that uh, your personal credit doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. That's true. But in some cases, you just you still want to have a clear idea of where you are at. OK, because see, the thing is that uh, if, if, if you happen to have good credit, you can actually use that. You can you can parlay that wonderful uh, credit worthiness. To your advantage i mean you can probably use that to to pre-qualify for for a better better business loan uh, you can you can pre-qualify for a larger loan amount for example okay and when we talk about reviewing your credit your credit we're also talking about your business credit so where are you at boss do you even have a paid score talk to me about that talk to me about your paid score 
Okay, talk to me about your your experience in Telescore Plus V Plus. You know, talk to me about your Equifax credit score. That's what I want to. That's what I want to hear from you. The third thing I want you to do here is to choose a vehicle. See, the the thing is, if you are going to run a Let's say you're trying to manage a delivery business. That means you probably have a clear idea about the vehicle that you need anyway. I mean, if you don't have a clear idea, now is the time. Now is the time. Not tomorrow, not yesterday. I want you to really have a clear idea about you, about the about the, the vehicle that you want for your delivery business. Okay. And this is where, you know, the niche that you are going to be is important. The niche that you want to choose is important. This is where the loads you want to carry are important. Okay. And this is where geography plays an important role. Talk to me about where, where you are at, boss. What city and state are you at? Talk to me. Talk to me about that. So once you have a clear idea about the geography, because when we talk about delivery business in general, this is the business where geography plays an important role. I don't care what people are telling you. I don't care if people are telling you on YouTube. People talk about, yeah, you know, you know, you can, you know, to open a delivery business, do this, do that, do this, blah, 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 blah. They always forget to mention that geography plays an important role. You know, I'm telling you this. If you are somewhere, if you're somewhere in Annapolis in Maryland versus you are somewhere in Duluth, you are somewhere in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in North Carolina, you're somewhere in, uh, New Mexico. The realities are different. The reality of the realities are different. Okay, the way you play the OTR game in uh, in uh, North Carolina, and the same way you play the OTR game in California. Again, I don't care if people telling you. When it comes to delivery, it, geography plays an important role. Which means what? You got to choose a vehicle. You got to choose a vehicle that really fits with your geography. You got to you got to really choose a vehicle that fits with uh, what your lo the local shippers are asking are, are asking of you. Okay, do you need do you need a reefer? Do you need a vehicle that has special accessories? Talk to me about the kind of a niche you want to be in. Do you want to do hazmat? Do you want to do uh, OTR? Do you want to be? Uh, do, do you want to do uh, perishable goods? Do you want to do like uh, fuel? Do you want to deliver fuel? What kind of niche are or do you want to be in, boss? Think about that. Again, I'm still having a, convo a conversation with you about how to get how to the steps to uh, get a business auto loan for your delivery business. And the third thing is you got to choose a vehicle. Big decision time, big decision time, boss. What is the vehicle you want? Because the vehicle that you want and the amount that you are going to you're going to finance, do you need a, a used vehicle? Do you need a, a do you need a new vehicle? How much are you going to finance? And do you have the means to actually uh, to actually repay the loan? The next thing I want you to do, boss, is to get pre-approved. Okay. See, the whole thing here is that, um, you know, if you're looking for a business auto loan for a delivery business, do not go right away and just apply. You want to, you want to pre-apply. You want to be pre-approved. See, pre-approved works both ways. It actually works two ways. Pre-approved means that you actually are just uh, entering your, uh, your basic information to see how much you could qualify for. So basically here, we, we, we are, we are talking about, like not having any kind of a hard pull, you're just having a soft pull, just kind of see the waters, what was really happening there, you know? And so this is the first, that's the, this is the first way of uh, analyzing pre-approval. The second way of analyzing pre-approval is that you basically are taking a letter to the car dealership to, you know, you're taking a letter because you got pre-approved by the bank that, hey, listen, based on your profile, we can finance up to $50,000. This is just wonderful. This is a, a great document that you can go to, you can take to the car dealership. And basically, you are telling the, 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 the car dealer that, hey, listen, I got pre-approved by the bank, and which means that y'all y'all better really uh, respect me from this point on. Y'all better really give me the deal that I want because I got some, some kind of quasi-financing already. See, this is the power of a pre-approval letter. Okay, so when you hear the terms uh, pre-approval in connection with, uh, you know, uh, getting a business auto loan for a delivery of business, this is what I mean. You, you, have two, you have a duality here. You have two ways of understanding that term here. And the next thing you want to do here is you want to provide documentation. So you got to really provide a, a lot of, uh, not a lot of things, but a lot of, uh, let's say, a few pieces of documentation that actually attest to your, to your business legitimacy. For example, your EIN, okay, your employer identification number. Or you might want to use your social security number if you want if you if you run the business as a sole providership, and or you don't want to use your EIN for any any reason, then you you want to uh, provide your social. You got to have a business bank account, so you got to provide business bank statements. 
So maybe the lender will ask you three months of business banks, bank statements. You might ask for a business tax returns, a profit and loss statements. Okay, this is a, this is really important. So profit and loss statements, they want to show how much your del your delivery business has made so far. And when when we talk about business tax returns, this could be uh, your 1065. If you have an LLC, a multi-member LLC, it can be a, an 1120S. If you have a, a uh, like a... An 11 like if you have an s corporation and it can be an 1120 if you have a c corporation this is important to know so here is the approach i really want you to follow so you know if you where do you get a business out of loan for your delivery business let's talk about that boss now you have three ways you have three main places where you can get a business out of loan for your delivery business it doesn't matter whether again it doesn't matter whether you or you whether you want to buy um, a single a single a semi you want to buy a, a cargo van a, a sprinter van it doesn't matter whether you want to buy a box truck it doesn't matter what doesn't matter whether you you want to buy multiple vehicles or, or a single vehicle you only have a three ways or three places where you can get funded. You can have, you have traditional banks and credit unions. You have online lenders and you have alternative lenders. Let me, let me quickly go granular here. So traditional banks and credit unions, they basically offer vehicle loans uh, for businesses with competitive rates and flexible repayment terms. However, and this is a big, however, okay. They may have a restrictions on mileage and vehicle age and business auto loan interest rates can fall below 3%. And if you are accessing funding through a bank or a credit union, so bear in mind, the process can be lengthy and you'll need to provide a lot of paperwork when it comes to, when it comes to banks, it is what it is. Okay. You got to provide paperwork. By the way, boss, I want to quickly remind you once again of the conversation we're having. The topic is about how and where to get a business out loan for your delivery business. Okay. I, I, I like to really remind you of the topic because I like to contextualize the conversation. So we are on the same page about what we're talking about. And so, so besides traditional banks and credit unions, you can get actually a business out loan for your delivery business at an online lender. So, okay when we talk about online lenders we are actually uh, lumping in the same category lender marketplaces i'm speaking here about lendio i'm speaking here about nbc national B business capital those are uh, lender uh, lender marketplaces that actually uh, aggregate uh, I would say several uh, lenders, several business lenders who can actually take care of you. So what happens here is that you actually, you just actually apply for, like you have, you go to those websites and you apply, uh, you apply once, you just fill out a form, you pre-qualify. And what happens here is that your loan application gets dispatched to a network of uh, business lenders who are ready to fund your delivery business. Not a problem. Okay. And the third, the third uh, category is alternative lenders. Here we are speaking about the lenders such as is Balboa Capital, Kalamata Group. We're speaking about lenders, uh, you know, who are willing to uh, look at your application. And those two categories, online lenders and alternative lenders, they are more flexible than uh, traditional banks and credit unions. Here is a bonus for you, boss. See, when we talk about uh, I know that you, you you came here to look for ways to get a business auto loan for your delivery business, but but there are alternatives to a business auto loans for your delivery business. So what I'm trying to say here is that um, you know sometimes you don't need you don't need money for for the uh, for the business auto like you don't need money for the business uh, delivery like for the delivery business itself for the for the vehicle itself. Or sometimes you don't qualify. I mean, yeah, I mean, th there could be a lot of things where you don't qualify for for this uh, delivery business and you don't qualify for a business auto loan. So you got to look for alternatives. For example, you could try a small business loan. In other words, you get a loan that has nothing to do with the vehicle, that has nothing to do with the Sprinter van you want to buy, that has nothing to do with the, the with the cargo van you want to buy, that has nothing to do with the car with the box truck you want to buy. You just want to get a business loan, just a, a decent business loan. You can get that too. You can get that too. Okay. And so, uh, so if you need another type of working capital, a small business loan would be a better option, but often this come with higher fees and interest rates than traditional business auto loans for, for, uh, for a delivery business. Because remember when we have a regular business auto loan, this is no longer collateralized. So, you know, the element of risk is still there because uh, the lender might be like, okay, you know, what if something happens and uh, this, this borrower doesn't really, uh, that doesn't really uh, follow up in terms of payments, we are screwed. So they have, they, you know, to sort of compensate for this, uh, increased risk 
they will actually just uh, increase the the APR as well. And you, or you can get a personal loan. You can get a personal loan to actually uh, take care of uh, your business, your t delivery business. This could be a possibility. I mean, you know, everything is possible. Okay, and you know, you, or you can get a consumer auto loan, so like a, a, a like a, an auto loan for for yourself, like at the personal level. Yeah, people, some people do that, especially if you if you are a solopreneur, if you if you if you are running a Let's say if you are an owner operator, if you are by yourself, you have a single member LLC and you don't want to run, you don't want to run things through the, the business, you could qualify, you can qualify at the personal level, or you can just uh, try leasing. I mean, you may be able to lease a car for your business, for your delivery business, rather than buy it. So, uh, you know, and uh, so the car will not be an asset your business can claim, but there are ways to incorporate the cost into your taxes. It may also be less expensive on a month to month basis. Let me give you a few pro tips before we close to this conversation boss what i want you to really remember here is that um you know some people will tell you hey listen yeah you know if you're looking for funding if you're looking for a business funding for your delivery business sometimes it's just better to uh, like you know as long as you don't need money for for to buy a new vehicle you should try to get like you should try to use your credit card your business credit card because then that way you can reap rewards you can write you can rack up uh miles and what have you and the thing here is that, I mean, let me just say this. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold your horses. Okay. Hold your horses. If you're looking for a business auto loan for a delivery business, go for a traditional lender, an online lender, or an attorney lender. If you're looking for a business funding just to run your delivery business, regardless of uh, whether you want to buy uh, a van, like whether you want to buy a vehicle or not, there are other ways to seek the that, that funding now business credit cards are meant for something else but you should not you should never use a business credit card to purchase a business auto loan i don't care i don't care because see the thing is the calculation is uh it, it like we have an entire business we have an entire show to explain this to you why the math is not in your favor regardless of how much uh, how many rewards you think you can accumulate by actually charging the the vehicle uh, the, the the price of the vehicle on your credit card it is a bad idea. It is a it is a, it is a crappy idea. Don't anybody razzle dazzle you and trying to lie to your face saying ever do this. If anybody ever tells you to do this, you can just uh, you know put a put a comment underneath this video right now, and we'll explain to you the reason why is that it, it, it is really a bad idea. So don't do this. You use business credit cards for something else. If you have a, a delivery business and you want to use a business credit card, I want you to use that business credit card for something else. For something else, boss. It has to be for something else, not to buy a delivery business and uh, not to buy delivery, uh, like an, an auto loan for your delivery business. No. Okay. Another thing I, I want to insist here is that when we talk about, uh, you know, using the credit cards, there are other elements you need to pay attention to your DTI, your CUR, your credit utilization ratio. Those play an important role in terms of, uh, in terms of buttressing your financial profile so that when you are trying to get a business auto loan for your delivery business, you get the best deal ever. You get the best, best, the deal, the best deal of the, like the deal of the year, whatever. So bottom line here is that please be careful. Do not use credit cards. Do not use business credit cards in a, in a, I would say, in an appropriate way because you're trying to chase rewards or, or what have you no not at all okay business credit cards are meant for something else and use them for that thing and, and uh, exclusively for that thing thank you so much for your attention i really appreciate it boss in today's conversation i was just talking to you about how and where to get a business auto loan for your delivery business and i just uh explained what a what a business auto loan was how to get it okay where to get it and uh, in the bonus i talked to you about alternatives to business auto loans thank you god bless you i'll speak to you another time but until then remember stay marvelous <laughs>